Doctors and pharmacists are sounding the alarm as a nationwide drug shortage hits a record high with more than 320 medications now in short supply. This is one of the worst times that, that we've had uh, as far as we've been tracking, uh, especially with the total number of, of ongoing and active shortages. Experts say some patients are having to forego critical medication because hospitals and pharmacies just can't get it. Cancer treatments, diabetes, ADHD, and injectable drugs critical in life-saving operations are just some of the medications in low supply. Marilyn Martin has type 2 diabetes and has had trouble finding her prescriptions. I started it and everything was going really good. And then all of a sudden I can't get the dose that I'm on. Kimberly Yard's daughter is taking the stimulant Vyvanse for her ADHD for years, but her insurance company wants her to switch to Adderall, another drug in short supply. So you want me to potentially not have consistent medication for my daughter? Instead, really, why? Experts say there are several reasons as to why. Supply and demand, manufacturing and raw material issues following the pandemic, and lack of incentive for big pharmaceutical companies to produce the generic drugs that have now become so cheap. Data shows 90% of Americans now rely on generic drugs. Experts say there are often alternative medications, but they come with challenges. It creates a lot of problems inside the hospital, potential for dosing errors, potential for medication errors. And in some cases, patients have to go without therapy or have their care rationed. So what can be done? The Biden administration is now urging Congress to pass a law rewarding hospitals that buy drugs from a variety of drug manufacturers. And the FTC is investigating drug distributors to look into whether they misused their market power. Andrea Fujii, ABC News, New York.